and Libra, you do have the Ace of Cups and we do have the Tower. So, <laughs> kind of, uh, you know, lover, is it? No, it's love in the time of cholera or something like that, you know. <laughs> it's love during the pandemic times, I believe. This is what's happening or somebody's love life went boom, 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 boom. Um, this combination of energies is actually also a very passionate love connection. You know, the tower, sometimes it's simply about the fire and that's all in the explosion. Uh, when it's too much and it goes boom. So however this resonates for you, right? We have the tower and the ace of cups. That is um, most certainly something went boom and most certainly love abundance in this situation of yours. So let's see what this is all about. We do have the tower and the healing begins. I love the six of swords. This is peace of mind, walking away from a tower moment. Um, this is moving for some of you, physically moving um, someplace else. And of course, this is the energy of healing. The tower and the judgment. Now we know better, right? In this energy, it's about uh, blossoming, a situation that comes, a beautiful situation coming out of a tower moment. But for some of you, this is about judgment and lessons coming out of it. And the tower is really following us around, Libra. The tower really sticks to the, your situation. And I do hope you're safe, whatever you are. And we do have fine balance, two of pentacles, keeping a brave face, doing what has to be done, keeping everything up and running, despite the tower moment. I know, baby. I know. The tower really wanted to, to be all through the shuffling energy. And now we have the death card. Oh my god. Uh, Libra, we are, um, right? We need to be a little bit cautious. I mean, joke aside, we had the tower all through shuffling. And now at the bottom of the deck, we do have the death. So something is ending. And we have the new beginning with the magician. We have um, taking control. The magician is about life-altering events that we, um, you know, take charge because we feel confident and we have all the um, all the tools. For some of you, you might be manifesting a Scorpio in your life and they show up here as the overall energy, which is good. For some of you, this is guidance, we know, right? Major Arcane are all about lessons and pieces of advice. And actually, Libra, you might be guided to release something and manifest something new. Actually, we'll see depending on um, the other energies. So past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Let's see the current energies between you and your person. Okay, we get three for the mutual. That was one that really wanted to come out. And let's have the possible outcome. <clears throat> and I hope I'll be able to do the reading. And that is also a beautiful sunset right in front of my window you should see this is just amazing let's hope it will not be dark uh, like you know by the end of the reading we do have the seven of swords seven of swords seven of cups we are confused about a deception about a rejection five of pentacles seven of cups seven of swords uh, we need to seek the truth we might um, be feeling alone in this so let's see what this is all about Let's see what's going on here and what messages we need to hear today. So Libra, in the past you and this person, but on your side we do have the strength. This is Leo energy and we do have the Hermit Virgo energy. I do believe that this is kind of the universe saying that uh, you had to seek control. You had to be on your best, on your, um, best uh, behavior. The strength is being courageous, so the situation of yours required you first of all to seek the the wisdom in it and the lesson that's the hermit and also the strength right strength and courage so it required actually for you you know how it feels it feels like maturing up very fast um because virgo is a world of wisdom and that is no way uh, we could have gone through this without the wisdom of the hermit so this is how you have it right the universe saying you well you had no control but to be wise about it, to be smart about it, to be on your best behavior about and also see the lesson in it quickly. <clears throat> this is how it feels. 
what do you want me to say? It might be a Leo, it might be a Virgo. And, um, and yeah. Now this person of yours, Libra, if you're wondering, well, first of all, they had love for you. We do have the lovers, can be a Gemini energy um, you might be dealing with. And also the Five of Cups. This is the energy of I miss you, right? This is the energy of regret and feeling disappointed, missing you and mourning the loss of you, the loss of this love, trying to change focus uh, because at the end of the day, they realized actually there were emotions involved in, in, um, in the connection between you and this person. Now, mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the Four of Swords. This is the energy of a breakup. This is the energy of somebody asking for time and space and a breakup and a distance. Um, it's the silent treatment. It's whatever you want. Four of Swords, healing of the mind and saying, you know what, I'm going to stay in my bubble. This is me, me, me time. And we have the Nine of Wands. Rest and reconsider. We have somebody hurt and we have somebody silent. That's the energy of... Um, might have been somebody quite perseverant. We do have the Nine of Wands also as the energy of the Wounded Warrior continuing to fight, but more in a self-protective mode. It's like, you know, I'm hurt, so I uh, better be very um, cautious about this. Can be you, can be the person you are dealing with, but it comes as mutual energies. So in some way, you are, you are cautious in the past. They were um, Four of Swords. You healed your mind, worked through it, and they did the same. It's what you had in common, right? <clears throat> so, um, Libra, where are we right now? We do have the um, Ace of Swords, Clarity of Belief. Um, maybe you wanting to communicate with this person. And we do have the, the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. Might be a Taurus you are dealing with. But I'm sensing more of you wanting commitment with this person. We have the clarity of belief and we have the teach. They may be a professor. They may be a teacher. They might be, you know, um, working in, in school or saying, you know, in, in a school setting. But the Hierophant, we know what this is, right? At the end of the day, it's about traditions. It's about uh, long term. It's about... Uh, wanting this person kind of like forever an ace of um, swords is the energy of new beginning of clarity of the mind ideas a plan and being quite determined right ace of swords is cutting whatever is unnecessary and going straight to the point now this person we have this person blocking a little bit we do have the nine of wands again the energy of wounded warrior a little bit perseverant but wanting to put the effort in we do have the Eight of Pentacles. We have them learning how probably to deal with you or how to focus on this connection. And in the same time, we have them a little bit hurt. In self-protection mode, um, you know, it's like me, 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 resting and reconsidering. Kind of gives me um, the image of somebody being a little bit isolated, kind of like the hermit mode and, um, you know, thinking about it. That's a nine of one's energy in this deck so and mutual energy is between you and this person again this energy of keeping a brave face so both of you working actually towards balance and uh, keeping everything up and running we have the energy of judgment i believe both of you know better after whatever happened in the past and it required all the courage in the world and all the love in the world and we have um um, Libra, you and this person, divinely guided. We do have the star card, wish fulfillment. Uh, we have both of you healing. That's the energy. And also with the judgment and the star, this is the energy of um, reconciliation with the judgment, coming together with this person and um, having that wish fulfillment, actually, right? Aquarius energy too. Um but mainly I, w I would say finding finding balance through healing and also um this energy of a of a new era kind of that's a judgment right a second um a second chance but it's a it's a renewal of some sort you know through healing and balance so i would say you work on yourself they work on on, on themselves here and um 
I do love the uh, the star card because yeah, it is about wish fulfillment, but ultimately it's about ascension. It's about um, your higher self. It's about your true self. It's about aligning right with your spirit guides. So, and both of you going through this. Moving forward, we do have the Nine of Swords and we do have the Moon. So that is something we are very afraid about. We have the darkest fears and we have the confront. Uh, for some of you, it's simply, it's as simple as that, to confront your fears. Um, kind of saying, you know, uh, if you make scenarios in your head and you are afraid of something, well, actually, you need to prove your fears wrong kind of energy. To confront them for some of you it might be a Pisces that we are a little bit um, afraid scared we don't know what's going on for some of you it's the energy of depression anxiety and we might feel that you know we all have moments of um, of darkness so maybe some of you are um, afraid that you might um, you know fall into into a pit I call it the pit of depression right so some food for thought for some of you prove your fears wrong um, Libra now, the person you are dealing with, they are in the Three of Pentacles energy. This is about reaching out. Um, they want to reach out. That's the energy. And we do have the Four of Cups. This is the energy of boredom and discontent. It's the energy of not really paying attention, right? It's the missed opportunity. And for some of you, you might be dealing with somebody finally realizing, well, I cannot lose this opportunity. And I want to reach out to my Libra. I do love the Three of Pentacles, it's not only the reaching out, but it's also um, creating a life together, it's building a life together, it's the energy of partnership and and putting down roots and um, thinking in a very solid way, but because it's paired with the Four of Cups in reverse, it says opportunity beacons, but I'm sensing that they might have this duality inside of them, um, he or she, right? of um, missed opportunity and in the same time not paying attention to this. Um, now mutual energy is coming your way actually. We do have the temperate such that is energy and we do have the two of wands. We have the energy of crossroads and choosing a path and both of you I feel that you need to choose a path in order to come back in balance. And that's interesting because the energy right now, Libra, you have fine balance, right? Two of pentacles is fine balance. And as we move towards uh, May, we have balance, but we also have spread your wings in order to have balance. Make a choice. That's the two of ones. Choosing a path. We cannot, I mean, choosing balance, choosing, um, you know, um, healing and being in, um, I would say, emotional shape, being um, aware of what's going on. And also we have release and manifest, right? So it is releasing is a choice in itself. And manifestation is also your mind is made up in regards to what we want. So, wow. You know what, Libra? I am not seeing love. Some food for thought for some of you. I'm not seeing love. I am seeing the need for clarity and the need to kind of dissipate fears of some sort. I see a need for both of you to heal and find balance um, in this I'm sensing the energy of focusing and paying attention, but I am not seeing love, baby. Not on your side, not on their side. So some food for thought, but I do see release as the overall energy. So um, now let's see what energies we need to unblock in order for the situation to see some progress of some sort. Let's see the guidance we receive. We have forgiveness, Libra, um, so we need to forgive them. We do have, you are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. So that is something, oh sorry, that's my phone. So um, we need to release past hurts and we need to forgive this person. They've made a mistake. And we do have compassion. You demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love. So we need to show them compassion, right? And it's um, it's an action, right? Forgiveness, you know, they can see it or not see it, but compassion is a proactive kind of. So you demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love. So 
We do have freedom, Libra. We have to release them. We have we started by saying we need to release them and now we have freedom. You are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. Right? We leave the past in the past and we free ourselves from this. We have creativity, so we need to be creative about this connection. Might be unconventional and we need to find ways, different ways, right? To cope with this. So you love to devise new ideas, innovations and forms of illumination. And we do have bottom of the deck relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So if they, they don't serve you in any way possible, right? I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. That's the guidance in regards to this relationship. It's kind of if they um, have nothing to give, well, we release them, right? And let's have two guardian angels and then we say goodbye Libra till the next time. We have the Hierophant again, Taurus energy. For some of you, might be dealing with the Taurus, actually. For some of you, this is really about commitment. So this is a time of great spiritual growth for you, making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love you and share your beliefs. Be willing to accept help from others. You could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new ideas. I'm just saying spiritual growth and we do have the messenger of emotion this is the page of cups in traditional tarot uh, Pisces Cancer Scorpio energy and Libra this is the beginning of a new emotional experience that could grow into something deeper you may receive a message expressing feelings that you didn't even know were developing a social invitation could soon be on its way to you there's a there is a person involved who is very gentle and loving with only the kindness of intentions. It could be you, especially if you are artistic, shy and sensitive. So Libra, we actually need to release somebody in order to have a new, a new emotional experience. And it looks like it's going to be surprising. It's, it looks like you, you don't know, you know, they had feelings for you. So, um... That is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? I want you to stay strong and safe. Um, as always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.